The product obtained from the waste mineral oil that has been distilled before is filled into the storage tank. Generally, solvent liquid named N-methylperolidone is used in these processes. However, it can be used in different solvent liquids. N-methylperolidone is chemically stable and a strong polar solvent. Despite the stability of N-methylperolidone, it is active in certain reactions such as hydrolysis, oxidation, condensation, conversion with chlorinating agents, polymerization, O-alkylation and related reactions. It is a colorless liquid with a weak amine odor. Miscible with water and most known solvents. Shelf life is unlimited when protected from air and moisture in its original packaging. It is not explosive and does not ignite spontaneously in air. Mineral oil and solvent liquid are heated in a flash heater and sent to the extraction column. It creates a heat source with the heat transfer oil coming from the flash heater system. Mineral oil is sent to the solvent extraction arm from the lower region. The solvent liquid enters the extraction column from the upper part. The pulsed solvent extraction column consists of a large diameter tube filled with an alternative disc. The rotating discs mounted on the shaft increase the mixing ratio of the components from one phase to the next by the effect of agitation. In addition, the rotating discs help the process by making the droplets even finer. The finer the droplets, the better the mass transport ratio between the mineral oil and solvent liquid phases. The solvent liquid and mineral oil produce a homogeneous mixture in the extraction tower. Mineral oil moves upwards because it is lighter than the solvent liquid. As the solvent fluid moves downstream, it scrapes the contaminants from the mineral oil. Mineral oil, stripped of contaminants, exits the top of the extraction arm. Mineral oil contains a small amount of solvent. The solvent liquid and extract are taken from the lower zone of the solvent extraction column. Extract is the name given to contaminants dissolved from mineral oil. To separate the mixture of base oil and solvent liquid, it is sent to a flash heater, where the solvent liquid is heated to the degree of evaporation. The solvent liquid in the heated base oil evaporates and is sent to the condenser. Since the base oil does not evaporate, it is taken from the lower area and sent to the storage tank. The solvent liquid separated from the base oil is sent to the solvent tank for reuse. The extract and solvent liquid taken from the lower part of the extraction tower are also sent to the flash heater and the solvent and the extract are separated. The extract is taken from the lower zone of the heater and sent to the storage. The solvent liquid separated from the extract is sent to the solvent liquid tank for reuse. The solvent liquid price is high, but since it is recovered and used many times, it pays off the investment cost in a short time. After the solvent extraction process, the polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and heteroatomic compounds in the mineral oil are separated. In the final, the product is now ready for use to base oil standards.